Hello students, I am Manjanathan working as an assistant professor in commerce in GFJC Bangalore Therapathy Kolar. In the last series 1 of the problems on deduction under section ETC2, ETU, we have discussed the provisions and problems up to section ETC, CCC, ETCCD. So, in this series 2 video, we will see the tax provisions applicable on the deduction under section ET D to the rest of the provisions. The problem Mr. Saha furnishes the following details medical insurance premium paid on own life, medical insurance premium paid on father's life, cash payment for preventive health checkup on own life. So, here section medical insurance premium comes under section ATD and the section ATD there are two categories of the deduction we can claim here the family refers to as a C, spouse and dependent children and on the parents they can claim the deduction here the preventive health checkup deduction all the person put together that is as a C, spouse dependent children and parents maximum they can claim 5000 and if the medical insurance premium is paid or they are contributed for central government health scheme or medical expenditure you can claim if the SSC is not a senior citizen maximum limit 25,000 if the SSC is a senior citizen maximum limit 50,000 in case of parents either of the parents is a senior citizen 50,000 if they are non senior citizen then 25,000 here on own life eligible for deduction father's life is also eligible for deduction preventive health checkup on own life 2000 eligible cash payment for preventive health checkup father life 6000 totally on father's life 6000 on own life 2000 total 8000 they are spent on preventive health checkup contribution to central government health scheme 4000 it is also eligible calculate the amount of deduction allowable under section 80 d2 for the assessment year 2019-20 at the format computation of allowable deduction under section ATD SSC name of the SSC Mr. Saha residential status resident assessment year 2019-20 previous year 2018-19 first one in case of preventive health checkup yes paid on own life it is 2000 on father's life it is 6000 totally 8000 years paid maximum they can claim deduction of 5000 so 8000 overall maximum limit 5000 whichever is less the lesser amount is 5000 second in case of mr saha spouse and dependent children here he has paid 4000 as medical insurance premium and has contributed for central government health scheme 4000 totally 8000 he has expended 8000 or maximum limit of 25000 whichever is less 8000 kadme ide adanna consider maadi next in case of father so on life of the father he has paid medical insurance premium 43000 here assess or father in senior citizen illwa anadu enu details kottilla so here it is father is a non senior citizen 43000 maximum limit 25000 claim maadabodu 43,000 or 25,000 kadame irad whichever is less 25,000 so total all these three put together it comes to 38,000 total amount of deduction under section ATD is rupees 38,000 idu section ATD the next problem problem number 7 Mrs. Saha furnishes the following details Medical insurance premium paid on own life 13,000. So, our own life mele 13,000 pay made there. Medical insurance premium paid on mother's life 24,000 eligible. Medical insurance premium paid on mother's life okay. Cash payment for preventive health checkup on own life 20,000 eligible. Cash payment for preventive health checkup of mother's life 40,000. Total either do Arvachara pay made there, but maximum they can claim only. Right, computation of allowable deduction under section ETD, name of the SSC, Mrs. Saha, residential status, resident, assessment year 2019-20, previous year 2018-19. First one, in case of preventive health checkup, on own life, she has paid 
twenty thousand on mother's life she has paid forty thousand total put together sixty thousand maximum limit five thousand whichever is less so sixty thousand matte five thousand kadme irado ay chara so five thousand is eligible amount next on life of mrs saha assc medical insurance premium paid on own life thirteen thousand she has paid so total payment thirteen thousand or maximum limit twenty five thousand eradal kadme irado admur saara eligible next in case of mother's life or mother's life mel 24000 pay madidare illi senior citizen or non senior citizen enu kottilla so age kottilla adakke senior citizen illa non senior andre 60 years ginna kadme idare so 60 years ginna kadme idare maximum 25000 deduction tagolabodu 24000 or 25000 whichever is less kadme irod 24000 adu total 24000 plus 13000 plus 5000 all these thing things put together it comes to 42000 so allowable amount of deduction under section 80d comes to rupees 42000 next problem mr sudhir resident gives the following details for the previous year 2018 19 compute his net income for the assessment year 2019 20 so details kottidare sudhir 2018 19 indu so income na calculate maadbeku here they are given business income so taxable income from business fully taxable any other income it is not equivalent income from other sources so mediclaim insurance premium paid on 20th april 2018 paid within the previous year to general insurance company gic on the life of his dependent father his age 87 years so here medical health insurance premium paid on his father so his father is a senior citizen that is super senior citizen so it is eligible for deduction this paid premium of 8000 maximum limit 50000 you can claim but he has paid only 8000 so whichever is less 8000 or 50000 whichever is less is eligible next expenditure incurred during the previous year 2018 19 on medical treatment of his dependent grandmother being a person with disability so here disability section adt 80 dd comes into the picture there here the family does not include grandmother there it includes only assc spouse dependent children uh, father and mother and dependent brother and sister so grandmother is not a family under section 80 dd so and this deduction is not deductible or eligible expenditure incurred on medical treatment of dependent mother her age is 65 years or senior citizen and she is a resident during the previous year in a recognized hospital who is suffering from specified diseases specified diseases under section 80 ddb they can claim the deduction here as a ssc is a senior citizen and resident in india they can claim the deduction up to rupees 1 lakh or if the ssc is a non senior citizen and not a resident then 40000 is the deduction is eligible but here the sudhir's mother is senior citizen and resident in the previous year hence 1 lakh maximum amount they can claim so 80000 is the expenditure 1 lakh or 180000 rupees whichever is less less amount is the 80000 and the amount whatever received or recovered reimbursed from the insurance company that we have to deduct 80000 minus 70000 that is eligible here we will see the solution later expenditure incurred on medical treatment of dependent sister so it is a family who is suffering from specified disease in a recognized hospital treatment is taken from the insurance company they have received 30000 total expenditure 80000 so 80000 as she is a non senior citizen 80000 or 40000 whichever is less 40000 is the lesser value minus 30000 the expenditure received from insurance company the only 10000 is deductible like this 40 or 80 which are is less 40000 minus 30000 10000 expenditure incurred on medical treatment we suffering from specific special disease of his brother his age is 65 years and he is a non resident in india during the previous year 
So, even though Assessi is a senior citizen, but he is a non resident here where Assessi is brother. Hence, only 40,000 is the eligible deduction. 40,000 or 45,000, whichever is less, 40,000 is the lesser value, less amount received from insurance company, 35,000, only balance 5,000 is eligible. So, this is how we have discussed the problem. Let us solve now. Computation of taxable income or net income. Name of the SSC, Mr. Sudhir, residential status, resident, assessment year 2019-20, previous year 2018-19. Particulars, two columns. There is no income from salary, there is no income from house property, so there is a taxable income from business, right. This taxable income from business, 8 lakhs, no capital gain, so income from other sources, 80,000, total put together, 8 lakh 80,000 cross total income less deductions under section 80 c to 80 u under that first one under section 80 d medical insurance premium paid so here he has paid medical insurance premium of 8000 on his mother sorry his dependent father so he is a senior citizen so in it is eligible for 50000 8000 or maximum limit 50000 whichever is less only lesser value 8000 second under section 80 ddb disability where here the grandmother it has been paid grandmother does not come within the definition of dependent that is uh, family for 80 d ends or therefore nothing is deductible so nil next under section 80 ddb specified diseases here treatment of dependent mother age senior citizen so super senior citizen and resident in india maximum amount 1 lakh they can detect 1 lakh or 80000 80000 actual expenditure or 1 lakh whichever is less is 80000 less the amount received from insurance company so 70000 is received from insurance company deduct that balance 10000 is deductible eligible Medical insurance premium on dependent sister, same is a she is a non senior citizen, so 40,000, 80,000 or 40,000, whichever is less, 80,000 or 40,000, whichever is less, 40,000 is the lesser value, less 30,000 is the insurance company received, 40,000 minus 30,000, so 10,000 is the taxable amount, sorry, eligible amount. Next medical treatment of dependent brother, so 45,000 or 40,000, whichever is less, lesser amount is 40,000, out of the 40,000, whatever the amount received from insurance company, that is 35,000 is received from the insurance company, deduct that balance 5,000 is eligible for 80 DDB deduction. So, all the details completed from the gross total income, deduct all these eligible deduction. 880000 minus 8000 minus 0 minus 10000 minus 10000 minus 5000 the balance comes to 847000 it is taxable income from sorry it is the total income or net income on this value tax is to be payable